Um, Robert, as we as we move forward here, some of the things that people remember, just like we're hearing from the fire chief, are survival stories, how people got through this, how people got through the storms. And I remember during the storm, we had some images of a family that had to swim out of their home, mm. had to swim out of their home in order to survive. You were able to go back and, and see how they're doing. Uh, it, it just one of the most remarkable stories uh, and people I've met in covering all of these hurricanes and disasters. Imagine taking your three month old little boy into the storm surge and trying to save his life. Baby Charlie turning one years old next month and a long life ahead of him, all because of his parents' heroic actions as Hurricane Ian ravaged their neighborhood near Fort Myers. It was really windy at first. Uh, first, the roof shingles started flying off our house. Uh, our lanai actually ripped off, flew over the house, and then the water started coming in. It went from about an inch to, you know, almost our, over our heads in about 20 minutes. Uh, we originally had gone up to the attic, but we weren't sure how high the water was gonna go. So we eventually took Charlie, put him in a plastic bin that was storing our Christmas decorations um, and the cat as well in a separate bin. And we swam out our front door and kind of floated down our road drifting. Your instincts kick in, you assess what's around you and we, saw the bin, we knew it would flow in water. Um, you know, obviously not knowing kind of at the time how fast the water was going, but you know, you just kind of do what you, you know, I've never had held on to something as tight as I could. So, you know, it's, yeah. and it's, I, don't, I, it's, I honestly don't like thinking about it a whole lot because, yeah. but. It's, it was a lot. Um, it's, it's a lot, you know, that goes through your mind. By the time they floated down their neighborhood streets in strong currents and landed on high ground, they knew they had made it out. Listen to Callie's account moments after. I'm not sure how long until we uh, can get out of here, but um, it does look like the water is starting to recede. These steps were underwater, they're not anymore. So I do think it's going out. Um, but rest in peace, house. Gone. Love you guys, love everybody. Thank you for all the prayers. It's been pretty scary, but um, we're okay. Thanks to the fabulous neighbors who literally saved our lives. <laughs> then you come back to today and you know, thankfully it turned out the way it did. But... You just never knew in that time. We, you know, we didn't know where we were floating to. We didn't know could have been very... where we could have been. I mean, it could have gone completely differently. Eight months later, they have been forced to move twice now living in Chad's mother's apartment. They are in litigation with insurance as their home that they escaped sits idle in the Florida heat and rains. It's still very emotional. Um, every time we do go back to that house, I get very anxious and I don't like thinking about it. Um, so for me, moving forward is just right now, not thinking about it and hoping that it'll be easier once it's settled when we can never have to look back at it again and just have that closure of being done with this process because um, it's just not fun to think about. They had our prayers mm. and, and to see their little boy growing. I mean, you do survive in whatever way necessary for your kids, whether it's in that moment of survival or down the stretch, however long it takes. Yeah, Amy, I, first of all, I. It's emotional for me to even watch that piece, even though I did the interview you and put it together. You have a daughter who's near the age of this baby. I, I, I do. Uh, as a matter of fact, we were talking about that. Uh, uh, my daughter, Lyra, is is literally within days of Charlie's uh, birthday, and and wow. frankly, and I have three other daughters. Right. In fact, one of my oldest is 15 years old today, and so you realize you do anything for your children, but under that kind of distress of mother nature not knowing, can you imagine, stepping out into the waters because your house is completely uh, inundated and being sucked out and drugged. The water was so fast. I, I just can't fathom how they, how they did it, but they're alive and they're gonna get through it. 
But you saw what they faced, and some people did not survive that same scenario. It's an yeah. important story. Thank you for sharing it with us. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.